Hey folks, how's it going? We're checking out more car share. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. All right, man, last episode actually had a scene in it that I saw on YouTube a while back. It was the whole dogging scene. Not all of it, I believe it was a bit shorter and they left segments of it out on YouTube, but I did see some of it, but I didn't quite remember the entire bit, so I still enjoyed it. And also in my opinion, the funniest part about the last episode was the, all the dogging stuff, especially when he was having a conversation with her neighbor at the end. I thought that was very funny as well. And I did not realize old boy who was walking his dog when they pulled over to have a conversation with him, that he was the guy from Phoenix Nights. You guys let me know that too. I didn't even notice that at all. So shows how much you pay attention, man. So thanks for pointing that out as well. And I forgot to go back and check on YouTube to see if that clip was blocked. I'm gonna do that today to see um, if something may have happened to it, to see if it was blocked or removed or whatever. Because so much stuff that I react to ends up getting blocked like later down the line because there's an unlimited window when companies can show up and block the stuff you react to. It could just be partially blocked or fully blocked. I don't remember, but I think there might be a block on there somewhere, whether it's partially or fully. I still have to go back and check and I just keep forgetting to go and check. So yeah, man, let's just go ahead and jump into this one, folks. We'll talk about it more at the end. Dealing with a collapsed sewer there. There are diversions in place oh. for you to follow. Buses, trains, and trams all looking good this morning. I'll have uh. for you in 20 minutes. I've heard of a bear on the house. digging her? Is she smelling that? Where's she again. going? Traffic and travel with Okoda UK. Your way <laughs> to a better, brighter future. Ugh. It's so bogus. Hmm. You asked her out, man. So you're just staring. Scream over. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. I'll talk of best like I would do. When you're miserable, sod. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let me in. I'm gonna lose her. Let me in. Oh well. That sucks. There she goes. Yo, what is she doing with her hair? Like the 80s day or something? Morning. Oh, oh. oh my god. I've got to put my feet in. Oh, you okay? Are you drunk? I've had a drink, John, but I'm not drunk. You stink a drink. Oh, your breath stinks, you leather. Oh. Come on, cheeky rat. <laughs> what are you looking at? Well, they're Probably looking at you. Like you've been dragged through an edge backwards. Thanks very much, Jonathan. Happy Christmas to you too. You know our Kelly is going to Australia tonight. Yeah, you said. So everyone just piled round at our house for a P A R T Y. Because I said so. You are proper pissed. Yeah. I am. Just tore up. Did get to bed till five in the A M. I know you said. I woke up on the poof. They're still going! Sing star! Yeah, do some about the hair. What'd you say? Lady Huh? Come on, you said Lady Diana. Why? <laughs> it's the game! Do Get it. out of town! Do it! No! Go on! No! Go on, go on, go on, go on. Do it. No! No! I'll keep saying it till you do it, John. Lady Diana. Lady Diana. <laughs> I guess that will be fun if you're like drunk. Chucky. Hey, my nose. You've a lovely nose. Why are you meeting him at lunchtime? Uh, safer. And if I don't like him, I can just say I've got to go back to work. And what if you like him? Makes sense. I'll be laid back. <laughs> Kissy, you wicked. Where are you meeting him? Nando's at half twelve. Oh, he said Romance was dead. To a winner with this one, actually. You said that the last time. He's not getting any. Oh, no. Don't look at him. Don't look at him. Look straight ahead. I am. Who's oh, looking over there? Oh my gosh. Please don't let him in, John. I'll throw up in your car. You know I can't stand fish. You said you like sushi. <laughs> sushi is fish. What is it, man? 
Wrestling. That's it, Ray. Look at the bus. Don't look at us. Nothing look to on. see. He got spotted for sure. Isn't Made it. it. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Should I just ignore him? Just look forward. Just look forward. Alright, how's it going? Oh, oh hi! Tell me where to work. Yeah. Yeah, thought it was you. On your way to work? No. Uh, yeah, yeah. Got any chance of a lift? What? Any chance of a lift? My car's in for a service. Probably have no choice. They have no idea. I didn't know. Yeah, not a bother. Yeah, right. yeah, get oh, in. Brilliant. Here we go. <laughs> Been the ages talking to them ladies. Have you? What did he say? Never you mind. I trained there, 86 to 95, boom time. I worked on the fish market, so men and men and fish are filleted. I developed me knife skills, me yanagi, me day bar. Hey. Any update on knife situation? Because I've told you I can't slice through butter with that shite you give me at work. I'm, I'm sorted, all right. Yeah, ah, uh, yeah, because we've had this conversation. Ooh, bro. Oh, what are you doing? Get it, no, no, no. I was a very <laughs> naughty boy to this song many moons ago in Okinawa. This is it, here we go. Well, you know you stick, you get it close to people. <laughs> Right up on them. Hey, not think his name. I know he's old boy from the League of Gentlemen, but... Come on. I've been sitting here the whole time trying to think of his real name, and I can't think of it. Come on, dead bodies. I've always said it. It's 30% fish, 70% charisma. It's not bollocks, and it's got to be fresh. Because if they can Jesus smell it before Christ, they can bro. see it, we've got Who's a big problem. <laughs> <laughs> Come again? That was just getting a drink. Fishmongery is an art form. It's a skill. Fish is in my blood. <laughs> father was a fishmonger. My father's father was a fishmonger. Three generations of fish. God, God. Uh, yeah, you're laughing now, Missy. But when I go, that'll be it. Benito, Benito. We're a dying breed. There'll always be fish, but there won't always be fishmongers. It's a sad fact. Kids today, they don't want fishmongery as a trade. They want Ugg boots and a wrapper with. Ah, oh, shut it, will you? You're giving me a haddock. Oh, yeah, haddock. Very funny. <laughs> Grow up. Just calm down, Perry, will you? <laughs> it's him! You can't. Hey, could you? Oh, I can flower, but I've got buttons and you're pushing them. All right. Crabby. Just ignore her, stick, ignore her, Ray. She's leathered. I'm not! It's him! Moby Dickhead! Uh, you're the Moby Dickhead, Wurzel. Just yeah. calm down, Perry. I'm getting a bloody addict myself. And did you never get another rat? So I'm all right yeah, for a left arm? <laughs> uh, I don't think there'll be enough room. Why? Um, because we've got to pick up a prescription. Prescription? Prescription yeah, for me. Yeah, to pick up a prescription. Why are your tablets? Uh, the, you uh, can't ask not. a lady that, Ray. Play the game. Yeah, mind that, the lady thing. All oh, right. Well, can I come with you as far as the chemist? Can I get the bus from there? At least I'll be halfway home. Bless him, bro. So, off we go. The Forever FM that. Golden Hour with hits and headlines from a chosen year. It was the Jesus. year that publishing tycoon Robert Maxwell was found floating in the Atlantic Ocean whilst this motley crew were sexing up the charts. But who were they and what was the year? Call me bad, 91. 91. <laughs> Come on, hurry up, hurry up. I'm going to be late. Should have got the bus. Right, I better leg it. I've got a delivery. I'll catch you two later. See you on the ice. Jesus Christ. I hate him. He is a proper arsehole. Never, ever let that happen again. Get out. Oh, oh no, it's him. <laughs> oh, he never leave. That worked a treat, didn't it? <laughs> Bust it. Bro, they so stupid. <laughs> Oh. I'm gonna miss her so much. Oh, Kelly, she's off to Australia. Where's she stopping out there? The family. My auntie Pat and Uncle Bob. 
lovely people. <sighs> I love her so much. She's been there for everything in my life, Kelly. I don't know how I'm going to cope without her. I know it sounds dead selfish and everything, but I really hope she's homesick and has to come back home soon. <laughs> don't look at me like Give that. Give her a chance. You're not even taken off yet. I know, but I'm going to miss her. The thing, eh? How did your date go? Oh, he wasn't even Japanese. Furious. After I'd learnt the language as well. Oh, where were he from? Rochdale. Rochdale? Yeah, his name wasn't even Simon. What made you think it was? Well, he'd shortened it to Sai. Fair enough. Well, why the Oriental? Because his username was Jap Sai. <laughs> Jap Sai? I know. Jap Sai. Jap Sai? <laughs> Racist. I'm not being racist. <laughs> what are you laughing? Chaps. <laughs> oh God. I hope you made your excuses and left, sharpish. Yeah, I did. Just went to the ladies and climbed out the window. Why? Oh wow. I hate goodbyes. What's up? You're sulking. You're not speaking to me. Haven't had a dream in a long time. They was the seen the life I've had to make a good man back. I don't wrong. So for once in my life, let me get what I want this time. Lord knows no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. What was the lyrics that song for What's My Life Let Me Get What I Want? He pulls up and it's a dude in the car. <laughs> oh no, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. Well, I think that's Morrissey. I'm not completely sure. Uh, I should know. Yeah. Uh, God bless him. This is a really good episode. Very, very funny. I really hate that I don't remember his name. Uh, I really hate that I don't remember his name from... Uh... Wait, I'm going to look it up real quick. His name is Reese. I know the last name is like Sheer Smith or something. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but I just remember like the first names. I was always pretty... I was actually did a good job of remembering their first names, and I just forgot them when I was like watching this. I don't know how I forgot it. It's funny seeing him in this, man. He was... <laughs> He's really intense in this, man. Just like he is in uh, the League of Gentlemen, dude. Similar to, like, the, the Jeff guy from the League of Gentlemen. How intense he is with every situation. That's who the Ray kind of reminds me of. <laughs> He's, like, all in their comfort zone. Stinking a fish. Taking control of the radio. Being overly aggressive in the conversations. And rude and everything. Just fantastic stuff, man. Very, very funny, man. And they're definitely going to take a different route to work now. Going forward to avoid the bus stops. <laughs> Just to know I run across that dude. I'm hoping he's in more episodes. I mean, you don't always get what you wish for, but it'll be cool to see him in other episodes, dude. Just see if they still, you know, get into it. It'd just be uh, funny. I definitely did not expect to see him in that box, man. I really thought it was like a deep freeze or something that she's trying to get away with. Because I'm like, how is this dude going to fall for such a stupid lie? It just The lie just felt like it was going to fall apart right away anyway. It, but I did not expect them to go with him being in the box. That was super goofy, but still funny <laughs> that they're a busted. <laughs> Dude chasing the car, going after him, like bro, they're out of control, man. That was that was really good stuff for sure. And when he's talking about having a conversation with his dad about his uh woman, and all of them being recorded on voicemail, and her finding out that's a terrible way to find that out, man. That's an awful way to hear that. Jesus Christ, I can imagine my girl having a conversation like that with her mom, and then I hear it on the voicemail. Jesus Christ, that is tough. It's tough for him too for feeling that way, and him feeling like he can't come to her and have that conversation with her, like he's not happy and all that, because that's a difficult conversation to have with anybody, but. Just seeing it from the other side as well, hearing that from somebody you love is just tough when you think everything's all right. Jesus, that sucks, man. Uh, sucks both ends. But like he said, that's why he, he prefers to be alone, which I don't think is true because he was checking out old girl hardcore in that car across from him. Kind of still really funny that it was a guy in that car. <laughs> that was really, really, really good that it wasn't her. That was, that was good stuff for sure. All right, folks, man, this is a really good episode. I enjoyed this one a ton. I thought it was fantastic. I felt like it was funny, like, majority of the way through. It was a really entertaining episode. She walked out pissy drunk, the old lady looking at him through the window, talking crap, 
right in the beginning. Just all around a really, really good episode. All right, folks, that is it. That is all for this one. Hopefully, you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Later.